Hello and welcome to my channel. Right, we have a mystery kit. Now when I say this is a mystery kit, this is a um, kit organised by one of the Facebook groups and um, the whole premise with this is there is no colour, there is no picture thumbnail and um, yeah, I haven't chosen the picture. I have just volunteered to um, be a swap in the group and the picture I chose for my recipient I hope she will love and I gave her some ideas so I'm hoping um, this falls into those ideas I'm, but I'm not going to know what this picture is until I actually um, print it. Anyway, I thought I would show you the process from start to finish. When I receive a package of any kind I open my track checker app on my phone and there is a scan track item if you can see and then you tap and you get that magic beep and it tells me that it's my mystery DP as I logged it and then I can mark it as delivered and put that away alright let's see what's inside this is not from a current active store When I say this isn't from a current active store, what I mean is that the seller no longer, or the maker of these no longer sells. That's not a good start. So, this lady who does up these canvases, she um, no longer does diamond painting as a storefront so she converted this she took all the colour out, she took all the thumbnail out and if you can see here it's a custom, it's 25 and all my icons are black and white all of them right Drill toolkit. Okay, toolkit we get a nine placer, we get a clear pen with little bits of glitter. We've got a large wax, we've got those short lined boats and tweezers. Sorry, let me get the shine off. There you go. It's quite muted. Let's have a look. There are my colours. Okay. What I asked for or what I suggested in my mystery was um, Irish fall or Irish autumn. Irish or waterfall was also involved. So I think it was Irish waterfall autumn. I threw that search into Google. These were all based off Google photos. These are not based off diamond paintings. These are based off Google photos. You picked the size that you wanted to work in. I think I picked uh, I think that looks like 50, 50, yeah, 50 by 60, give or take. Um, I picked that size, she picked a reciprocal size, and we did the exchange for each other. We put the money into a new mutual fund that the organisers had done. They put all the orders through by sending photographs through, and um, yeah, there we go. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how the other half mystery goes. Um, but yes, I said Irish Waterfall Autumn and when I looked on Google I saw the most incredible photos. So um, this is a diamond painting from home that I probably wouldn't otherwise have because um, while I have some images of home, I don't know that I would diamond paint them normally. Um, I might have to have a think about that because I do have some Aussie ones and um, Diamond Art Club had a question on Mrs. Coffey's page this morning about um, getting some new artists in and it would be really really nice for me to have 
um, an Aussie bush uh, picture. Um, we have an artist in our family um, called Tina Terry. She does the most beautiful bush artwork watercolours and I don't know if it would translate well enough or not, um, but yeah, that would be really, really cool. But I think Diamond Art Club wouldn't necessarily do it because they're not going to have the sales in the US. So anyway, that was just an aside. Let's, let's see, I don't even know what way orientation this is going to be as a picture. It could be a landscape rather than a portrait. I, the symbols aren't going to tell me anything other than the stuff on the page. They're not going to tell me the colours. I don't even think it's going to give me any clue as to what the image is going to be. All right, it's super sticky. And I do need to be mega careful. This single sheet is going to be a pain in the backside. I've got a bit of a river I'm going to squash. That was because of how I pulled off I know, with the sneakiness of this, and I've got numbers here, the image could be sideways, the image could even be upside down. Okay, uh, nope. <laughs> I don't know, if somebody can tell me what this is going to be, uh, that would be pretty cool, uh, just from the shadings because at the moment I don't have a cloak. Let me put that back down, see what's on the other side. The so I can't actually give you a recommendation for this company. The canvas feels light and plasticky and that so far is my only gripe with the feel of the canvas. The drill field is perfect. The clarity is perfect. There's another funky thing going on there. I'll try and get unstuck. And yes, it's super sticky. Absolutely no idea. Right. I don't know what I'm going to get around to this to know what the hell it is. Oh my goodness, the stress! Alright. I have no thumbnail to be able to put anything up. Alright. Crackle time. Okay. Comes with a bunch of bags. Comes with an inventory. Doesn't say how many colours. It's most likely, yes, it's autumn. I've got my burnt yellows, I've got my purples. I haven't got so much reds. But depending on where, I think it was Jenna, got my picture. Um, Irish autumns aren't necessarily red. They're um, the browns and the purples and the yellows and stunning. Alright. Yeah, this Quite a glare on. Um, I can't seem to stop it. 
Let me see if I can get rid of that little bit of glare on the yellows. No, I can't. Um, let's see if I can block it just temporary. There you go. All right, just a very short bit. So that's showing you the yellows. These are the bluey, dark colors, um, and these are the purples here, but I will show you in a bit more detail as I do inventory. Um, colors, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 45, 45 colors, that's pretty unreal. Forty-five colors. All right. I will do inventory separately. I'm going to tell you what the colors are, and I'm not going to be able to tell you what colors each one is off the top of my head. We've got one five four, one five nine, one sixty, one sixty one, three ten. We have three eighteen, three three six, four thirteen, four fourteen, four three four, four three six. 451, 452. We have 524, 535, which is the Navy. 3041, 3346, 3348, 3726, 3740, there's 12 bags of that, 3743, 3746, 3799, 3829, 3841, 3852, 3858, 3861, 3864 and 3865, which is the cream. The most I've got are the 939s being 19 bags. Then we've got 938, which is 12 bags. We've got 898, which is 15 bags. We've got 47 bags, oh, holy cow, of 310. And we've got 10 of the 413. And then it kind of goes into the larger groupings. There actually is not many single bags in this. There's 524, 924, 3348. They're the only ones. So, um, it's going to be really rich. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll probably just speed up the inventory so you can kind of see me going through the colours um, as I throw them back into the bag. And um, yes, I will see you when I have completed inventory.
All right, everything is there. Um, it's a square, by the way. The drills look fantastic. My bugbear is, good God, I'm either getting old or reading the black uh, against some of the darker colours is just a complete nightmare. Um, it was quite tricky actually seeing what some of the colours were. Everything is here. Um, yeah, looking forward to doing this. Um, as I said, don't know when, which is disappointing because I know Jenna will probably be wanting to see what it is and how it turned out too. So I've got somebody on the back of this um, hoping to see the outcome, but I have a custom I would like to start even if I just do a section um, because I want to see how the quality is of this custom which is huge it's um, 50 by 100 or 60 by 100 um, so I want to do a section to see do the drills match up to the quality that I'm recommending this company for and is the scene going to look as good as I think it is so I want to do a patch of that as a test um, yes, and then I'll be able to get on with, um, oh, I don't know, something else to keep me busy because my current whip I'm struggling with and I need to get back into diamond painting and also get it out of the way. So there you go, it's a mystery, um, and it's a mystery for you guys too. So, <laughs> it's 25! It's, okay, it's not the 25 that's on the inventory sheet. So I will keep you posted. Um, I'll have to do an update when I do get this done. Um, yes, but thank you for watching. Um, this is the potential that we can have in playing with our craft. It could be a Mandy Manzano if it was bright colours. You just would not know. It depends on what you pick. Um, but you can certainly play with the canvas. You can get all the colour taken out. It's all kinds of symbols. Um, the canvas is nice and clear. Uh, it's kind of a shame that this person doesn't keep doing what they do because um, I would imagine it's a lot of fun um, selling mystery kits that you don't actually know how it's going to turn out. Um, but really, really glad for the group that I'm part of that did this. Trisha Riley is one of the key members. I'll put a Facebook link up. Um, and. Um, get the correct name of the group, I think it's the Diva Support group um, that Trish is part of and she's organised that and um, yes, so this is my challenge for the future and um, hopefully it won't last me too long. Um, instructions are in English and in Russian, uh, I guess because it's popular in Russia. Alright, thank you for watching, see you around at another unboxing or another um, whip or any other hot tips that I might have. Thanks. Bye.